Hi guys, Snake Dodder here. Welcome back to The Walking Dead. This is the beginning of episode three. Um, as you can see on screen, it's called The Long Road Ahead. So let's press uh, A to start the game and see where this part of the story takes us. Previously on The Walking Dead. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. You've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters. And you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. Those look like the people who raided my Calm camp. Calm down, you're paranoid. Fuck you! Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. He's not dead! Somebody help me! Come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it. What the fuck? Sounds like a car. It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. We have to take this, Clementine. We need it to survive. Don't worry, little girl. Bandits got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. Here we go then. Now we know this game adapts to the choices we make. Indeed, it changes as you go. Right, episode three. So what's in store for us? The Walking Dead. On. Looks like this is our lucky day. I don't like it. Keep your eyes open, all right? Just trying to be optimistic. Let's just get inside. So I at least become very wary of everything. You can blame it. Tools. Oh, man. You made up your mind yet? About what? When it comes to the getting the hell out of Macon, I bet you're in the let's stay put camp considering I've been pushing everyone to leave. We should go. Motels run its course. It's not safe. Stick together. Well, if that's what you think, you should probably fucking speak up. Lily's dug in. Oops. It's not a good bit of landing there. I'm not an expert, but I'm sure that's not how you supposed okay, to land a helicopter. Just like last time. Over the rig, into the pharmacy, and scrape together whatever supplies are left. We didn't leave much in there. Let's do this. Hey, we're out of options. Something's better than nothing. Oops. You okay? The ladder's come loose. I'm not sure how many more trips she's got in her. I'm not sure how many more trips we've got in us. No kidding. No. Right. <clears throat> do I get up there, do you think? Is it going to break? I reckon it is. No good Looks at like all. She's had find a different way. Right now. She's quite handy. I'll find another way up. I better get a move on. Just when all the nightmare baddies come. Go this way. It's over blocked here. by all the fallen concrete. There's the no safe the way truck. through that mess. Go way around the side of the truck at all. Get up here, can't we? <clears throat> there we go. Into the back of the truck. That Kenny, one. come on. Ah, shit. Damn it. I can't reach. You're no bloody Sorry, good, are you? No. All right, stay put. Useful. Okay. Hmm. Use that barrel at all? 
Hmm. Hmm. Nothing useful. How about, yeah, we maybe can give this a push over. Hmm. Not gonna go anywhere, is it? No, okay. Let's use the, uh, use the winch on the front then. Lily's not doing so good, huh? She'll be fine. If you say so, you're the only one she seems to give a damn about anymore. Well, you and Clem. Not surprising, really. The cave her dad's head in last time. There we go. Uh, let's touch it around there. Hope it won't break. Reel it in. Okay, move on. Come on, Lee. Any juice left in the truck, though? There is. Brilliant. <clears throat> the girls still Looks good. You for agreeing to take that stuff from the station wagon? I hope not. Hoping ain't worth a damn. We talked about in the. There we go. Let's get up. Duck there. was asking about that guy at Herschel's farm last night. Really? I wasn't sure it phased him. Of course it did. It was a scary situation for him, Sean dying and all. I'm just worried he'll always think it was his fault. But it was. Oh, you can reach now, can you? That's you're useful. sure you're up for this. Lee, I'm fine. I've got this. Give me your hand. Shit. Nice one. Now there's going to be something coming, isn't there? Jesus, are you okay? No, Dick, I'm shot. No, get ah. off here. No, Dick, that's lovely, isn't it? Charming. No. Run. Help me! Somebody help me! Oh god! Oh god! And then from all angles, what the hell is that? A walker? Walkers don't scream, do they? Jesus, I don't think so. It's a girl. We have to help her. How? There's no getting to her. We gotta do something. Shooting. Right now. Put her out of this misery. I don't know we're here. What do you mean? I mean, we leave her alive, and she draws them all too, buying us time. We can't think about it. We're always worrying about the ones we can't see. She's dead anyway. She stays alive and brings them all out of their holes. Come on, Lee. You've got to take. No, man. I'm not going to shoot. I'm going to leave her. Sorry, love. Just stop screaming now, please. It's very annoying. Good, thank you. Achievement unlocked. Goodbye, she quietly says. <laughs> She's not quiet at all. Come then, Lee. Let's get in there. We should be good to clear this place out, but we ain't got all day. Get everything you can out of these racks. Don't forget underneath the counter this time. I'll clear down here and then we gotta go. Damn irritating, isn't she? Let's grab everything, come on. Time now. Let's get everything we can. Let's keep grabbing what we can. Yeah. 
Right, someone come on. Oh shit, he's in. <clears throat> I've got 18, that's not bad. Come on, Lee. Up and over. Let's get out of here. Still clear. Let's hustle. Oh shit. <laughs> Furiously tap A. Come on, Lee. Can't tap any faster. Tap us out, dude. Go. Don't shoot, just just go. Nice, that'll do it. Come on, Lee, let's get out of here. Oh dear. Pilot's back. Take that to the face. Oh, he's stuck on one. And again. Stay down, bitch. Oh yeah. Take it to the man. <clears throat> See ya. God, he's not giving up, is he? Sorry about that, sir. You look good. Fuck was that? Hell no. You took care of yourself, didn't you? Alright, let's go. You right back to the motel. Someone's been using it for uh, target practice. There's Clem having a chat with her dead parents. You're back. Ben found some stickers yep. in a drawer, and I put them on my walkie. Hey, sweet pain. Very nice. That's neat. I'll find you in a minute. There she is. Looks like happy. we got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? We might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone. Come and rape our women and children. Huh. Come on, doesn't she care so, for us? Does she? What did you get? Certainly not to uh, Kenny anyway. A lot of stuff. We're fine, by the way. Nice work. This will keep us going. If we carry on like this, we'll get through the winter here. The winter? We'll freeze our asses off here. Because piling into an RV with Don't you. Don't think we should be staying here. To my dad is so appealing. Why wouldn't it be? You know, I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. We have to go eventually, Millie. I know, Lee. I know. Eventually is different. At it again, are we? Can it, Carly? Don't boss people around. I'm sorry. We're strongest together. I know you think I'm on her side, but there are no sides, damn it. What about the food situation? What about protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's got to be thinking about this shit. How True. has this not been working? Um, we have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. We deal with shit as it comes, just like we always do. Indeed. And Each when 15 bandits hop over that wall happens. in the middle of the night? What then? You just gonna deal with that? Everything that happens to us is another excuse for you to pull this crap about leaving. All I want is a week of peace, of not hearing it. Do you know how we got these supplies? Your pal and I got lucky and let a girl get eaten out there. What? Some girl came screaming out of an alley. She had dead hanging all over her. She gave us enough time to get everything we could out of the drugstore. And you just let her suffer like what? Like bait? God, what is happening? She was dead. She was dead anyway. It made the most sense in the moment. Lee's right. We've been putting our lives on the line doing these runs into the city. You wouldn't believe the shit we see. We all appreciate it, Ken. You should be thanking Lee for not shooting that girl. It's not so easy for him. Look, Macon mm, and its people Carly aren't suspicious. Safe. It's not a town. It's full of What's walkers. Going on the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. It's hell on earth. And it's coming. This way. It's not going to be easier out on the road! How would oh, you... Calm down, what? love. I know! I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. 
That's right, stealing! And I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day! This is a now touch paranoid, I think. Get out. Bad blood. Achievement unlocked. She'll get over it. She's riling everybody up otherwise. You understand, Ken. All I know is, whenever this shit happens, I'm the fucking bad guy. I'd like a thank you for once. For once! It's alright, Kenny. Don't worry. Try to please everyone. It's not easy. Oh, things are coming to a head. You could say that. Well, I think you did good today. And I find myself thinking that most days. Thanks. Why, well, thank you. It's probably worth following up with Lily about what she was saying about missing supplies. With her wound up the way yeah, she is, I don't out. want to Someone see her paranoid. Stuff. No question. And I'd like to talk when you've got a minute. Okie dokie. All right, let's go and uh, ooh. look back on the stairs. Okay, let's go and talk to uh, to Lily. I think she needs a chat, doesn't she? Come on, Lily, it's all right. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. Did you come in here to give me hell or to coddle me? I wanted to follow up on what you said about stolen supplies. Do you know what's going on? I don't. I just heard nope. you mention it. Things are missing, and I could use your help. There's a traitor. Somebody, one of us, out there. He or she or they have been taking things. I think you're, uh... For real? Who? What do you got? This is play along yes, for now, for I think. Real. And I don't have shit. I just know. Lily. It counts off, and it's the good stuff. Antibiotics, oxy, fuck, anything with opium in it. I see the count, and it's fine. I keep my own. That one's getting messed. I'm a fucking mess right now, but I'm not stupid. I know what happens if I start a witch hunt. So you want me to start one? I want you to poke around. It's not gonna happen, love. I think we What's say no. Go on? I found this tossed into the garbage. Huh. We don't toss out equipment, we fix it. You'd only try to get rid of a flashlight if you were using it when you shouldn't. Okay, I'll poke around a little oh, bit. I'm gonna keep playing along, I think, Thank for you. now. Let's keep her happy. Keep everyone on side. A mystery. Oh, what is Jesus, that Doc. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Um, I heard you guys talking. You need to unhear all of that. Can I all help? That. What did I just say? Yeah. You're Go a and duck off. detective, and I can be Dick Grayson, your ward. Certainly a dick. That's Robin. I know who it is. Come on, let's okay. just plan with everyone. Robin. Yes. What do I do? I, I don't know. Go look around. And, uh, let me know if you find anything weird. I'm on the case. Okay, thank you, Robin. Off you go. The mystery of the broken torch. It's like a Sherlock, Sherlock Holmes novel. All right, let's go up here and... Uh, Speak to Carly now, see what she's got to say. Talk to Lily yet? Yeah, she yep. thinks supplies have been walking away. Really? There's some broken equipment too. I'll look into it. Thanks for doing that. It's okay. What I wanted to say was, I've been thinking a lot about you. Oh yeah? I think about you too. Our group is small. small. Then. You're small. What kind of comeback was that? Killer. Carly, Jesus. Yeah. And, and I think people should know. Not because they deserve to, and not because you're a bad man. I think the opposite of those two things. People need to know because we're hanging by a thread here, and I can't see Lily talk about you without thinking it's the next thing she's going to say. You don't have to tell everyone. But think about who you trust and take the opportunity while you have it. 
Maybe. You're probably right. Of course I'm so probably right. We should right. let everyone know. <clears throat> People might be pissed, and telling them might cause some trouble, but it will be a far cry from what'll happen if they don't hear it from you. Yeah. So you'll do it then? Maybe. I'll let people know. You're totally right. Good. I think it's, it's going to be right best. or wrong. Everyone is happy so far, but it's going to cause me some grief, I think. Make, uh, we'll make our life more difficult. Don't call me small. <laughs> Kick your ass. Now, is there anything else you want to talk about? Do you know anything about this here? flashlight? It's broken. I know it's broken. And well done, the batteries Sherlock. might be in backwards. If you put me there, it might uses be. just what? Everything should. What was the question? Did you break the flashlight? No. Okay. That's an in-depth interrogation there. <laughs> Do you feel safe here? Okay. Show me a bath with a heated floor and a high-rise apartment and hand me a full-bodied Malbec and then I'll feel safe. I don't know. This place is fine, but we all know that that could change at any second. Indeed. You, uh, have any thoughts so about, Lily? about Lily? Then. I worry about her. That's about it. She keeps trying to run things, but it's just not working. You really think people are ready to about me. about me? It's not a matter of ready or not. There's never going to be a good time, but there are going to be a lot of bad ones. Right now doesn't seem like one of them. But everyone's different. Who knows how each person would take it, you know? Maybe it's worth thinking about who you want to tell. I'm going to look into this thing. Good idea. Okay. Time to go. A quick chat to Clem. A bit of uh, drawing, hey, a bit of rubbing. Hey, Lee. What's that you're working on, Clem? It's called a leaf rubbing. My teacher, Miss Moore, showed us how to do them when we went to the botanical garden once. Very nice. See, it's the same. Um, kind of. That's amazing. Oh, that's really something. I'll make one for you, too. Gee, thanks. You didn't accidentally break a flashlight, did you? No. Did Duck say I did? No. Did uh, Duck break the flashlight? I don't think so. He's just always blaming me for stuff. Like what? Putting a so bug on his pillow. Did you do that? Yes. <laughs> Claire, no, she's honest. I need to talk to you for a second. Okie dokie. The day you and I met, I was in a car accident. I remember. Your leg was bleeding. The car I was in was a police car. And I was on my way to jail for committing a crime. I need to tell you now. Because I don't want you to hear it any other way. Okay. Well, it's a noble thing to do, Lee. Have anything to say? I don't think so. You can uh, go on back to your things. Well, that's one down. Let's have a chat to these two, and I think probably hey, then two. we'll call it a day. How are you doing? We're okay. Just having a little spat. We all carry guns now, and I don't like it. It's the way it's got to be. I know, but I'm not so getting used to it. that'll get eaten. I'm sorry. How are you, Lee? I'm a murderer. Kenny, you got a second? I need to tell you something. You yeah. could have told them together, really, couldn't you? It's serious. Okay, should I sit down? Come on. I was, uh, on my way to prison three months ago. No shit. No shit. <laughs> wasn't for touching kids, was it? No, it wasn't. No way. We got two here. I killed a guy in a fight. Should I be worried there's anything else in your past that's gonna come out? I don't think so. Oh, good. But you should know, if we gotta make numbers when it comes to a boat, this is gonna matter. Cheers. That's just lovely. Alright, let's do catch you then. And then that'll do for now. Hi, guys. Can I talk to you about something? Sure. Could have just done them both. Okay? It really would have made much more sense.
Same story, I think. I was, uh, Here we go. On my way to prison three months ago. You've always looked at me with kind eyes. I wonder if you could still do that if you uh, knew I was a convicted felon. My goodness, for what? How much trouble can a teacher get into? Maida. Well, plenty. But it had nothing to do with that. It was for murder. Why? Murder. My wife, uh, That's were... enough. Tell me what happened when you were locked in the fridge at the dairy. I was given Larry CPR with Lily. Kenny came in from out of nowhere and put a stop to it. What did he do? He smashed his head in. <laughs> well, it's honest. While we're on the subject of honesty, your husband smashed some guy's skull in with a block of ice. Uh, no, a block of gotcha. salt. Everything Shit. keeps changing. Not wrong. How's that going to affect Lenny's, uh, Lenny, he's dead. Kenny's life, right. I think we've uh, done a bit, we've been a bit honest with people and uh, started that ball rolling, got a few more to tell yet. So for now guys, I've been Snake Doctor, hope you've enjoyed this video, please remember to like, share and favourite it, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see some more. For now guys, um, I'm going to say goodbye, and I hope you come back soon. Thanks for watching.